This is going to be quite rambly, and it's nothing to do with electronics, it's just a sort of general ramble because of something that happened today. I went into the supermarket to buy a bottle of rum because I quite like mixing the rum with um, a sugar syrup to make my own sort of liqueurs. And I don't drink a lot of it, but uh, you gradually work your way through a bottle of rum. So I went in to get a bottle, and it, because I'm mixing it with sugar, it's just generic, you know, supermarket brand rum. Ignore the story they put on it, it's just basically ethanol water and in this case uh, I would guess from the flavouring and colour that it's mainly caramel is the colouring and flavouring. And while I was there I thought I quite fancy a bottle of that dry cider that I normally drink um, and the Savannah cider and they didn't have any in stock so I saw a four pack of Stella Artois Cidre and I thought well that's probably going to be quite nice I'll get that. And while I was there an old guy sort of picked up a large shrink wrap pack of what's called Magner's cider. Now, Magner's is a popular cider in the UK, um, which is pretty much an engineered cider. It's ethanol water, sugar flavourings and chemical flavourings and more flavourings and more chemicals. It's very heavily engineered and it's very Moorish. And it's uh, it tastes always tastes perfect when you drink it. It's always got that nice, rich, sweet taste. So, very engineered drink. But he bought... 18 440 milliliter cans of that and the typical alcohol percentage of a can of this is 4.7% 4.5% alcohol by volume so it made me wonder uh, because as I was uh, going to the checkout I ended up behind this guy and he was struggling to put his big rack of cans in his bag and he turned to me and said how I put in the bag and I thought oh god he's drunk already and he's buying that amount of alcohol. I mean, it is the weekend, but you know what? Let's uh, keep things in control here. And said, well, since he's bought them anyway, uh, he held the bag open and I helped put the big rack in and he went off with it in his bag because it was a rucksack. And I was thinking, God, I, I wonder how much alcohol he's drinking. You know, I wonder if he drinks all those cans, what quantity of pure ethanol has he drunk? And it made me start looking at things like these little labels on the side and how many units of alcohol. Now, in the UK, the UK chief medical officers recommend do not exceed, regularly exceed, three to four units. And uh, w women are only to get two to three units daily. And in reality, those figures were just picked randomly out of the air. Um, I, I, I don't know what the logic behind them. It wasn't determined. It wasn't done scientifically. They just decided... Um, that, well, this is two units in this can, so they probably said, well, I think two two cans of lager or two cans of cider is enough for them a day. And so I started doing the maths here. I wanted to know how much ethanol is in a typical unit. Um, so if you consider that this is a 440 milliliter can, so it's 440 milliliter at four. 0.5% alcohol by volume, A, B, V. And that means it's basically, it's for 0.5% drinking al alcohol, which is ethanol. Ethanol is the safe alcohol to drink. None of the other ones are really safe. Ethanol is the one that doesn't kill you. Well, it does kill you in the long term if you drink huge quantities of it, or if you walk in front of a car. So um, if you work it out in that, if you do the maths, it works out as... Um, 440 millimetres times 4.5% uh, is 19.8. It's so let's say it's 20, uh, 20 millilitres of ethanol. And that's two units. So then you suddenly realise that one unit equals, rather conveniently, 10 millilitres of ethanol. Now, the guy bought a pack of 18 cans, so that's 20 millilitres of ethanol. 18 times 20 is, well, I can do that in my head, it's because uh, it's, uh, it's 360. 10 times it would be 180, so it's 2 times that, so it's 360 millilitres of alcohol. And... That's a lot, and he was already drunk, and I'm talking about 360 millilitres of pure ethanol. To put that into perspective, I've found a bottle that contains 400 millilitres. This bottle, imagine it filled with pure industrial solvent ethanol. 
if he drinks those cans tonight, that's what he's drinking. But this also made me wonder, uh, here's my bottle of rum. So how much? Th this is uh, apparently 28 units, 26 units in this, because it's 37.5% volume at 70. So let let's do the maths. Uh, the rum is 700 millilitres bottle. Not that I'm planning on drinking this entire bottle, or not. I will inevitably, but it's going to take a long time. And it's 37.5% volume. So you do the maths, and it comes out at 700 millilitres times 37.5% gives you 262.5 millilitres. And interesting enough, it says that this contains 26 units, which equates to the 10 millilitres. So they're, they're basing it on 260 millilitres. And I've also got a bottle of generic supermarket whiskey, which is also a, a, makes a very nice liqueur when mixed with um, sugar syrup. And a sort of 25% sugar syrup and the rest is whiskey. And this is slightly stronger. So here's the whiskey. Now... This is generic supermarket whiskey. It always tastes fine to me. I, I'm sure a aficionado would not like it, but um, it tastes like whiskey to me. I'm guessing it's ethanol, water, and flavouring and colour. Probably the caramel and then the flavourings for the cask effect. I'm not sure if they actually put it in casks or not. But this is 40%. I'm doing the maths again. That means 700 millilitres times 40%. Means this is 280 millilitres of ethanol. And again, that does equate to the fact there is a bottle that says this contains 28 units. So if that guy is drinking just those cans, that's, oh, blimey, that's just more than, ah, uh, that's much more than a full bottle of whiskey equivalent in alcohol. That's a lot. But then, I decided, what if, uh, what if I'm drinking a shot glass of whiskey? A typical shot is 25 millilitres. And if I fill this shot glass up with... It's not right up to the top. If I use my... This is the whiskey one, which is 40... Uh, this is 25% sugar syrup, and the rest is the whiskey. And if I put a typical shot measure in, and then I get one of these little ornate glasses and you pour it in, it fills it pretty much up to the top, actually. This holds less than 25 mil. Mm, hold on. Mm, mm. Do you want to waste this? Oh, that's nice. So let's say that a shot glass in this little liqueur glass contains 25 millilitres. If it's pure whiskey at 40%, then that would be, each little of those little glasses would contain uh, 25 millimetres times 40%. It's going to contain one unit of alcohol, the 10 millilitres. That was right, wasn't it? Yes, it was. 25 times 40, yeah, that is exactly 10 millilitres of ethanol. But because I'm effectively adding the syrup, to, and most of it's, um, it's uh, that way I can only, I'd have to divide it by, I'd have to take my 25 millilitres divided by 4 times 3. So what's that? That's 18.75 millilitres actual whiskey uh, times 40%. So it's only actually only, if I'm making my liqueur, it's only actually 7.5 uh, millilitres of um, ethanol. So if I wanted to stay inside the standard daily allowance, is this boring yet? Uh, it would be, they say, how many units a day was it? Four units. Uh, 40 millilitres of ethanol divided by 7.5. So I could drink, technically speaking, I could drink five shots of my liqueur a day and stay within their recommended allowance. But uh, not that I really would want to do that. I don't drink a huge quantity. But it was interesting, and it just made me... It made me actually a bit concerned about that guy, because alcoholism, this is an island. Uh, it's the Isle of Man in the middle of the Irish Sea, and it's sometimes described as a rock with alcoholics clinging to it. 
And there is a major alcohol problem in the Isle of Man. People die from alcoholism all the time because a lot of the older people, they don't really know how to use the internet and stuff like that. So island life is maybe a bit less exciting than city life. And it follows that people just seem to drink a lot. And um, yeah, but um, I'm hoping, yeah, I hope that guy isn't going to drink himself to death. It was just a bit odd um, seeing him staggering out that huge rack of alcohol. Yeah, very odd. But um, there you go. Um, that was interesting enough. It's interesting to note that one unit is based on 10 millilitres of ethanol and they've decided that 40 millilitres of ethanol is enough for humans a day for men. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think they just made that up. I don't know if they... I think they just based it on what they thought was the right thing. Now, there's the thing. The French regularly drink a lot of wine. So they'll drink typically about a 700 millilitre bottle. And wine is about 12%. And they'll easily tank a bottle at a time when they're dining. So uh, 700 millilitres uh, times 12.5 would be a good typical... So they're drinking eight units in one bottle, over uh, almost nine units in a bottle. And they drink drink a lot of wine in France. I worked over there for a while and they drank a lot of wine and I ended up drinking a lot of wine as well. It was very nice, I have to say. It's the they just drink wine with their with their meals. It was it was so odd. I was actually working at one of the Disney parks and they had so many international workers that you had the Germans were the Germans were drinking beer at lunchtime, the Italians were drinking wine, the French were drinking wine, the Americans were drinking coffee, and the British were drinking tea. It was very, very... It was almost like clichéd in a way, uh, what was being drunk. Um, it surprised me initially that the French actually and the Italians drank wine at their lunchtime at work, but they didn't do it excessively. It was just, just traditional that they normally do that. It's just considered a national drink. It was very odd. But, um, yeah, very odd. Uh, but uh, kind of educational as well.